You came close to uh, <laughs> having intimacy before intimacy? marriage. Intimacy. Ooh. Came very close. Yes. It was the hardest thing we've probably yeah. ever done in our relationship, would you say? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Three years of not doing it is really hard. It was a long journey. Yeah. But um, yeah, we definitely were not perfect in that whole process. Yeah. And we just just got I'm very actually, close. I'm actually like, I am so curious to know, like everyone, like how far does everyone go before marriage? Because even the people that are like, like we didn't do it before marriage. I'm like, okay, but what did you do? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like what? I, I don't know. I'm just like so curious because... There's no shot that the majority of the people that wait till marriage aren't doing something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there are people that are like very, very strict and don't kiss. Yeah, but no, like, there's people that do it. And but I, like that's that's I like that's like them. that's like one percent of people, dude. I admire them. I think <clears> that <throat> the you're right. Like the majority of people are like towing the line as closely as possible. Yeah, because freaking hard as freak. You're very attracted to them. And so you know you're gonna spend the rest well, of your life with them. I mean, that's the weirdest thing too is. It doesn't really, I mean, the wedding night happens and it doesn't feel like that different. Like we're, I, I don't know. Yeah, sure. We had oh, like, our, I, it felt different. I mean, it, I don't know, dude. We just had like our friends and family there to celebrate. Like if we would have eloped, it would have been no. Oh, wait, what do you mean felt different? Like, I, it's not like I had some epiphany movement. Like now, oh, now you're my wife. My wife. Oh, yeah. No, I, like, I if, totally If agree. we would have eloped a year before and had been doing it for a year and then like had the wedding ceremony and it's like. Well, if we'd eloped, it would have been fine. Yeah. I don't know. But I then, just feel like it was it was really, really special the yeah, day of the wedding because of to, that. I mean, it definitely was. But I'm just saying, like, it's hard. It's it's a complicated uh, situation. It's, it's a just, sensitive matter. Yeah, totally. And but it's I, so personal to every yeah, couple, you know? I will say this, though. I think, like, regardless of what everyone decides to do, I think waiting for a time, regardless of your choices, I think is important because you want to make sure... I don't know. Like, that's just something. I think discipline is always a good practice. <laughs> yeah, and I think. And I then think, beyond that, it's yeah. like your the emotions are sky high at the yeah. beginning of a relationship. Especially. And you could just do something without actually really thinking and just acting on emotion and what? then regret it later. And I, I think especially for women, like guys can be so, can, can be manipulative. I'm not saying like just guys do this, but there are guys that can be manipulative with their words and all they want is a one night stand and they use yeah. words to get you in bed with them and then that's it. So you got to look out for those people. And if, if they're willing to stick it out, you know, six months, a year, say you just decide that I'm going to wait, wait six months before I sleep with someone and you're dating them. Like that alone will weed out like a lot of <clears throat> people. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Or like something will come up and be like, okay, thank goodness that I never like went there with that person because he turned out to be a total dirt bag. But you know what my grandpa, my great grandpa said this. And I remember this quote. He says, uh, you don't buy the the cow if you can get the milk for free. I think that's what the saying goes. Hey. That's like, and it's so true though. Like yeah. there's guys that are just like, that's all they want. And then I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like, I mean, everyone has their own experience in their own relationship and there's so many factors that in, involve are involved, but yeah. I'd be so, it'd be so funny though if like if people all had like a little thing above their head that said like how far they went before marriage like if it oh, said like yikes, second no. base third base or if it's just no. like we didn't even kiss it's like wow congratulations I don't know how the freak you did that but that's that's pretty impressive we were making out before we were even dating we were we were making out on the couch watching movies downstairs we didn't even watch the movie we just make out the whole movie and I not think even about that look sometimes up. about how like early in a relationship we would just kiss a whole movie I want to do that I'm again like, can we try to do that what in the stamina that we need to do that in twenty. 23 we need to make out a whole entire movie and not even watch the movie we haven't done that since we were teenagers dude there was one time we were making out and i was like i'm going to throw up right now because <laughs> i did not feel good at all and you were just like kissing me and i was like i want to kiss him so bad that i will kiss him until i throw up because i just want to kiss you yeah it was after we went to six flags but if you the thing is though like in marriage if you skip all the all the build-up stuff oh, okay. and get and get right to the action it's like watching the last 10 minutes of a movie like it's still cool to watch the last 10 minutes of a movie but you're you skip the whole <laughs> beginning part that makes Matt the, and your the big analogies. finish so special